course they was gonna make a bitch wait all the way to next week for any type of action, huh? Whoa, what's jam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy New Orleans Lil, and this is gonna be a review on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 3 The Reunion Part 1. Finally, bitch. Let's just get into this shit. So, child, of course, my girl Samore is hosting the reunion, bitch. Yes, because that shit they tried to pull off with Monique hosting that other reunion, girl, I was not featuring it. And, bitch, Monique, you know I like you. But, girl, I just didn't like y'all that reunion. So, bitch, they opened up talking about Bambi, Scrappy, and Erica Pinky. Or uh, Erica Pinky. Whatever they whole bitch. I've been calling that whole Erica Pinky the whole season. Now, some more sound like she was saying Erica Pinky to me. But, I don't know, child. That whole wasn't important anyway. Bitch, so Bambi cursing this whole out like a dog, bitch. So, Erica Pinky, like, am I calling you a bitch? You know what I'm saying? Bambi like, bitch, it don't matter, okay? Like, bitch, girl, look, it's the reunion. And another thing, Erica Pinky, uh, Pinky, whatever the fuck your name is, bitch, what is up with these hoes wearing these bands across their foreheads, bitch, these fucking braids across their foreheads? Bitch, that is not for everybody, bitch. That shit do not look cute on everybody. I'm sorry, bitch. Y'all leave y'all comments below, bitch. I'm saying how I feel, okay? Bitch, that shit is not for everybody, bitch. Y'all hoes walking around here trying to look like Indians, bitch, but y'all my color, girl. No, ma'am, bitch. No, ma'am, girl. Y'all hoes need to stop that shit. Get it together, baby. Stop wearing them fucking bands and them braids around y'all forehead. And then I seen this whole... What that was? On Atlanta X's last night, this hoe had some braids that came into a crown at the front, bitch. See little ex-wife or whatever. Bitch, I might get into them hoes. We'll see. So, bitch, Erica Dixon chimes in and was like, hold up, Bambi, bitch. Why are you so pressed when you fuck Scrappy when me and him was engaged? Bambi just was like, girl. Erica, I don't know what it is about you this season, girl. But I just feel like you, like, I don't know. I just feel like you crying for fucking camera time, girl. Because that shit came, like, out of nowhere to me. Bitch, that shit came out of nowhere. Okay? Like, girl, that whole just wanted the camera to be on her. And Erica, bitch, I like you. I don't ever want you to think I don't like you, girl. But I'm just saying. So then they started talking about Erica Pinky and Bambi fighting in the club or whatever. And Bambi was like, I don't know this hoe. This hoe shouldn't be coming up to me in no club talking about, oh, I'm sorry for your loss about your miscarriage and all this and all that. So I did feel Bambi for popping the fuck out that hoe, bitch, okay? And Erica Pinky did admit that she was wrong for that shit. So big ups to Erica P for admitting when you was wrong, bitch, because you was wrong. Girl, so now they showing a clip of Scrappy licking his finger and then touching his baby mama ass. Girl, and bitch, they trying to say that shit is acceptable. And bitch, if that's only your baby mama, bitch, that's only your baby mama, bitch. Y'all don't have, like, like, bitch, no. Not if you with me, bitch. You not finna be playing like that with me, bitch. Please. No. Bitch licking his finger and touching that girl ass. No, ma'am, girl. So, Scrappy tried to play it off like it really were about nothing. But Erica was like, see, I told this bitch... Don't play on me. The same way Shay told him don't play on her last time, bitch. But anyway, whatever happened to Shay, girl? Miss Bucky. I don't know. Next thing you know, bitch, this whole Erica was like, bitch, I told him not to play on me. Bitch, she went to pulling out receipts, bitch. A receipt from a hotel that they was just at like a week or two ago. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, Bambi is sitting there looking furious, but at the same time, she understands Scrappy. Bitch, if you letting that nigga get away with that shit, bitch, he gonna keep fucking Erica and eating Erica pussy, then coming home and kissing you all in your mouth, bitch. 
No, ma'am, girl. I wouldn't be playing them type of games me myself. I'm just saying. So now we got the hashtag battle. The hashtag battle is about who should scrap it be with. Erica P, Erica D, or the Bam. Bitch, y'all know I'm going to do a spoiler. Fuck it. I was going to make y'all wait till the end of the video, but fuck it. Y'all know Erica Dixon won that fucking hashtag battle. Because, I mean, they do make a good couple or whatever. And, you know, it would be cute for them to raise their little family together. But, bitch, Scrappy played too many fucking games. Then he got asthma and all this other shit. Bitch, Scrappy just got too much going on. Bitch, so now we talking to Kirk and Rashida. And they recap everything that happened with Kirk and Rashida from Kirk. Going out to the club looking for a fucking babysitter, to the DNA test, to the apology post. Girl, this was the gag right here, bitch. So Samoa was like, Bambi, bitch, wasn't you at the cabin with him? Like, is there anything that Rashida should know? Okay. Bambi was like, well, he was out of line. But, I mean, they made it seem like, girl, fuck all that, bitch. Bambi wasn't gonna spill that tea. Bambi, like... You know, Bambi got that hood nigga mentality. Like, Bambi not about to spill that tea, girl. And then she want to keep it cute with Rashida, bitch. She is not about to fucking tell what really happened in that fucking cabin with Bobby Valentino. Short ass bitch. Wait, hold up, y'all. Bitch, why I seen Bobby Valentino in Harris Casino, bitch? Bobby Valentino about that small, bitch. I was like, girl, what is that walking on the floor? With this big ass security guard. And then I looked a little closer. I'm like, bitch, that's Bobby V. Hey, Bobby V. He looked back and was like, what's up? I was like, oh, all right, bitch. They dry ass. What's up? But all right. It was skewed or whatever, I guess. Bitch, wait. Then some more asked Rashida about how she felt when Kirk mushed her mama. Now, Rashida, bitch, that was your second chance. To get Kirk together, like, bitch, don't you ever put your motherfucking hands in my mama face again, bitch. Like, bitch, you lucky I wasn't there, bitch. You got, you did that on the cameras, but bitch, I better not ever see you play with my mama like that again. That's how that whole shit have handled it, bitch. Then when Rashida was like, um, um, he apologized and bought us some glasses. Next thing you know, he gonna be decking your mama, bitch. Girl, so now we talking about Jack and Carly Red. So we going over everything that happened with them from Carly Red catching Jack in the club, taking shots out of bitches, belly button and shit. And I think that shit is so motherfucking gross, bitch. A lot of people don't even wash inside their fucking belly button, bitch. They just take the towel and go straight down. Fuck that, bitch. You supposed to rub that towel in there, girl. No, ma'am, bitch. I wouldn't be taking no shots off no hoe belly button, no nigga belly button, bitch. No belly button, bitch. Give me my shot in the glass, bitch. Then they started talking about the real estate, girl. Then they talked about, bitch, how Jack told Carly that he was going to be out of town, bitch. And they still... And so then they talked about how Jack told Carly they was going to be out of town, bitch. And Carly and Erica wind up saying Jack in the club, bitch, with the real estate girl. Okay? So, some more asked Jack, like, why you just couldn't be faithful to Carly? Jack was like, man, I was over that shit. Once Carly got physical and got violent, you know, with all the domestic violence, bitch, I was over it. Then he was like, he said this big old dramatic ass story. I told y'all Jack was funny because the shit was funny. But I don't know. He just not interesting enough. So basically. Girl. Then some more brought up like who knew Carly could be such a freak. Okay. A old freak at that bitch. Carly I told you to email me girl. So you can you know let me know how you do that bitch. Carly be jacking people off with her feet bitch. Okay. That is telling bitch. Okay, bitch, you should have went on America's Got Talent and practiced on Howie. Bitch, Howie wasn't letting you put your feet on that dick, bitch. Wait, bitch. I, and I know I'm not tripping, but I'm my ex anyway. Because they was bleeping shit out. But did Jack say that Carly used to like to eat his ass? 
Because Samora said something about tossing salad and all that. Like, baby, what is going on out there in Atlanta, bitch? Girl. i tell you the fucking truth. Girl, so Scrappy lying ass decides to take a lie detector test that he knew he was going to fail, bitch. Just like he took that fucking piss test with that pit bull piss. And he knew he was going to fail. <laughs> bitch, I can't deal with Scrappy, bitch. He using pit bull piss for fucking drug tests. And he taking lie detector tests knowing he ain't telling the truth, bitch. Scrappy, these tests is not for play, bitch. They they just don't make this shit up, bitch. These tests be real. So, that's basically what happened on part one of the Love & Hip Hop Atlanta reunion. I'm your boy, New Orleans Lil. If this your first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe. And bitch, tell a friend, bring a friend. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil. Peace.